hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to do a simple tutorial on how we can visualize the transform models which we build so oftentimes it's a very big question like how we can actually uh, represent or visualize the model predictions so uh, to understand how the attention mechanism is actually working or being implemented over the sentences which we are actually giving so for that there are uh, there is a particular package called uh, transformers interpret and uh, transformers interpret is actually uh, giving us a lot of solutions to understand uh, what or to explain uh, in terms of sequence classification problems zero shot classification question answering and uh, this package is being open sourced in the github and uh, like you all can actually try so for this demo i am actually showing how we can actually uh, understand and implement a particular uh, transform model and how we can uh, use this transform model this entire tech into an applic or into a streamlit web app so to start off like first of all we need to load the required libraries so if you are using uh, transformers then like uh, you need to import uh, either you can import auto tokenizer or auto model for sequence classification or if your model is specific for uh, tensorflow then or PyTorch, you can actually even uh, import that particular uh, functions basically. So here I am actually loading auto tokenizer and auto model sequence classification and I am loading the function sequence classification explainer. So this is the important part in this transformer interpret to for our particular problem. So this is a sequence classification problem which we are actually defining. And for this demo, uh, we are going to, uh, like, you can actually download any uh, sequence mod model actually from the Hugging Face repo. So for this demo, I'm actually loading a model which we have trained recently for bias detection. And uh, this is a simple sequence classification model which detects whether a sentence is biased or not in uh, news domain basically. So here you can see the model is actually loaded by using auto tokenizer and TF model for sequence classification. You can actually load the model in your way. It's it's your convenience actually. So if we are using auto tokenizer, then you can directly load the tokenizer from the this particular model. And if you are loading the if you are using auto model for sequence classification instead of TF uh, digital bird model for sequence classification, then you need to add this from TF equal to true. It is just to denote that this uh, TensorFlow model. So. Uh, being said, uh, this is a simple function to kind of load the model. So here you can actually clearly define which model you want to try it out. And you can make the changes if here, like if it's, uh, yeah, if it's a TensorFlow one. And uh, the second important function is the model interpret function. So this is the place where we are defining the sequence classifier uh, object here. So here you can see sequence classification explainer. And we are calling the model as well as the tokenizer. And the word attribution is not nothing but a CLS explainer in sentence, basically. And this is what we are returning. We are returning CL, uh, CLS explainer as well as the word attributions. And this return statement is being called. So basically, this function is nothing but the collection of all these things. So this is a final function. And in this particular function, you can clearly see like we are loading the model and we are loading the model and tokenizer here. And this model and tokenizer is being passed here in this particular model interpret function which we defined here. And that will give us CLS explainer as well as the word attribution. So the CLS explainer is what we required for the visualization purpose. And here you can actually give CLS explainer dot visualize with dot HTML. I think you can, uh, I think it will run without this particular part also like you don't have to even give it. And uh, now what exactly so if you give it then i think you it will create an html file and you can actually use it basically so uh, now it's time to run the code so it's just that we need to give a sentence what so here i just gave a sample sentence and then run this function and it will actually print uh, this output so it will actually give us uh, the true label then the predicted label and uh, whether it is uh, what is a class so here in this problem it is biased and not biased and uh, it will highlight the portion where it is finding very meaningful so i think maximum uh, impact was on these kind of words terrorist intent on destroying property haven these kind of protests haven republicans nevertheless so these kind of words are having the impact over the prediction and that's why it is being highlighted as a green color 
and there are some highlights in red color as well so this is the simple way we can actually use so like uh, like if if we don't want to use it as a function you can actually write everything in a sequential way but yeah like if it's for an application purpose then it's better to convert that into a function like this and now we can see how to build an application simple application like this using these custom functions so for that i'm actually opening my editor and uh, it's the same i just have to import the streamlit uh, app and uh, and a particular uh, uh, component called uh, components function from streamlit and then we are loading the same uh, exact uh, transformers library and interpret function and uh, I'm actually loading the model and I've created an ST experimental singleton so that like it is uh, loaded uh, actually like it is actually keeping in that particular memory. So you can actually even try cache memory also but I think cache memory will fail when we are loading the model like this. So it's nothing but to optimize uh, this uh, what to say this function so that it's not called like to, uh, again and again when we are loading a sentence. So once the model is loaded, then we can actually reuse it. So that's the idea. You can actually go and see what all functions uh, Streamlit is actually uh, providing for it. And then we have the model interpret function as well as the transformers visualize function. And it's very simple, uh, like uh, just gave a title visualize transform model. And I just gave an, a text area portion so that we can enter the sentence and then uh, once the user clicks on that particular thing or once he enter as some sentence then it, this particular thing is triggered so an important thing to note uh, since it's a transform model and we need to display a HTML type of a file we need to add this component so components dot v1 dot HTML this is the command for it and then we can actually give uh, these custom arguments whether it, it's required or not based on your requirement and there is something called rep uh, HTML so this is nothing but to kind of represent that particular HTML onto this uh, streamlit page or app so with this we can actually see uh, our application is actually loaded uh, in the application uh, in this particular thing and uh, yeah so uh, we can even try out some other sentences uh, let me give another sentence So each time it is actually being run and then uh, it is giving the importance or this particular results basically. So it is a very uh, useful package for everyone like it is very meaningful I would say because most of the times we need to understand where exactly or what exactly it's making the prediction on. So it's very helpful for everyone to understand exactly like which portion is being uh, clearly uh, responsible for the prediction in a particular sentence or in a yeah, sentence block so that's it for today and thanks a lot guys for watching this video and take care